Hey guys. So, I'm not drunk. <laughs> yeah, I decided to get sober. I thought staying drunk, it, there's no way that's good for my transition. And some of the videos that I've watched that I posted, even though I met every word of what I said, they, it don't, not a good look for me. <laughs> um, and it probably can't be good for my transition. So, oh look, I painted my nails. You know, when you're transitioning, everything is a step-by-step. -step. Took me a long time to be comfortable enough to wear female panties. It took me a long time to be comfortable enough to say her or she about myself. And I still have a problem with that. I still tell my dog, come here to daddy. Actually, let, why don't we say hi to Riley? That's my soulmate. Riley, Riley, say hello. We're on YouTube. Say hi, Riley. Anyway, this is about me. Well, actually, it's more about all of us. Um, I'm glad that Trump Unfortunately, he tried to create some war between uh, our own country. Between, I mean, they tried to divide us, and it didn't work. It didn't work. Um, now, is Biden the best choice we could have had? No. No, he isn't. But is Kamala Harris a good vice president? Yeah. Everything. I've, I've watched a lot of videos about her. See, I don't make comments about stuff. If I don't know what I'm talking about, that's what's so important. You know, these Trump supporters are all like, oh, I love Trump. I love him. Trump's so good. Trump's the best president we ever have. I said, tell me one personal thing you know about Donald Trump. Did you know he eats three Big Macs a week? Did you know he flies around on private jets? Oh, but he'll donate his salary of $400,000 of the presidency. Sure he does. But he also pays himself $12 million for his airfare and dry cleaning. And he is a scam artist. He's even going to try to pardon himself. The only way he can do that is if he steps down, which will make Pence president and Pence pardon him. Now, what would be really funny is if he stepped down, Prince became, or Prince, I'm sorry, Pence became president and said, get the F out of here. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But anyway, I'm not going to make this about politics. I'm going to make this more of a transgender video. Um, for all of you that do follow me, I know they say that I need to continue to post, post, post to build my channel. And I haven't posted in a while. I've been going through a lot. Um, as you can see, my makeup getting way better. My hair getting way longer. My self-esteem, my confidence, my hope. It's all growing every day. And I want all of you, whether you have started your HRT or your transition or whether you don't want to physically transition and, you know, it doesn't matter how every transgender person is different. Some gender fluid, some um, they go by they, them, some... You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, some people have purple eyes. Well, they don't with their contacts. But you know what I mean. There are rare people. You can't judge them. You can't judge them. It's like someone saying, everybody's bi. No, they're not. If a woman hit on me, let me tell you how uncomfortable that makes me. I remember... Telling someone, the only time I ever felt gay in my entire life, because of course I had to live as a gay man. That's the only option you guys told me I had. So I was 16, maybe 15, when my dad said, you're gay. It didn't sound right. It didn't feel right. But I believed it because I was feminine. I was attracted to men. And it was the only option. No one ever gave me the option that maybe... Just maybe. I had a chromosome. So what I've learned, uh, there's a lot of videos online. You should really check them out. Um, there's a lot of videos online where they talk about um, the brain of a transgender person. They're doing a lot of research on it right now. Yeah, this did all just come to light since the Obamas were in office. And let me just say, Barack Obama, you'll probably never see this, but you are the most amazing person in the world. You are. I'm not racist. That's nor here or there.
But do you know all the people that hated Barack? It's just because they were racist. There's no other reason. He was wonderful. But they all want to follow Trump, believe Trump. Trump is the greatest. Trump is terrible. Trump has no empathy. Trump gave his son and daughter and all the staff and Secret Service COVID. He didn't care. Trump looks up to Putin and Kim Jong-un. Said he was a good man, a smart man. A reporter said, well, how is he smart? He, how is he good or smart? He assassinates his own family. Trump said, well, how many 26-year-olds do you know that can run a country? Well, when you're crazy and they'll kill you? I don't know. Any. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You don't have to be a certain age to be freaking nuts. Trump, I have a feeling you didn't just turn nuts. I have a feeling you've been nuts your whole life. I just... I just want everyone out there to know. In the beginning of my transition, I did look like a boy. It was very uncomfortable. And what most of you don't know is I started my transition incarcerated. I was drunk, which I stayed drunk when I was a man. I hated my life. Now, I wasn't brave enough to commit suicide like 41% of transgender people tried to do or successfully do. I wasn't brave enough to do that. But I wanted to stay blacked out because it, it, I knew I wasn't something wasn't right. And I wasn't man enough or woman enough to admit my truth that I'm a woman in the wrong body because it made no sense. And then you start the religious stuff. God didn't make mistakes. No, he doesn't make mistakes. You're absolutely right. He does not. 5% of humans are transgender. Five. Do you think this perfect God has a 5% mistake rate? Mm -mm. And then you add the gays, which everybody says is wrong. And bisexual, lesbian, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Some of the most God-preaching people are the ones molesting children. Why isn't someone talking about that? Let Pete Buttigieg, or whatever his name is, Mayor Pete in South Bend, when he ran for president, I was so proud of him. So proud of him. And when he said, yes, Mr. Vice President, my marriage to my husband has brought me closer to God. Good for you. Good for you. And everybody that hates Nancy Pelosi because they think she's stopping them from having their stimulus. Let me tell you guys something. It killed her not to let you have it. She, or let us have it. She knows we need the money. She knows it. She's been begging them to give it. But they don't want to come up to what she wants. And what she wants is... Okay, look at this. Trump said if I gave you $600 a month or a week, that's going to... Give you an incentive not to work. Do the math. $600 a week is $15 an hour. So, Trump, the problem isn't that that's an incentive to not work. The problem is that you don't pay us nothing. $15 an hour is not good money. And if you think people just want to sit at home and do nothing and get depressed over working and being around people, people need to be around people. They need social life. You're wrong. But it is what it is. I am learning to love myself. I had a real hard time with my voice because I'm like, oh, I still like a guy. I still like a Who cares? My uh, gender dysphoria had nothing to do with my voice. My gender dysphoria is because I didn't look like a woman. And I am a woman. No one treated me like a woman. And everyone that did want to want, want to be with me had to be hush-hush about it. No, 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 no. I love myself enough to know. I deserve to be loved. And damn it, you're going to carry me on your arm with pride. I'm great in bed. I have a kind heart. I'm loyal. I'm honest. I'll do anything in the world for anyone. I'm a great cook. My house is clean. And I'm very, like, I'm, I served, I waited tables for years and years and years, if that tells you anything. I love to please people. Well, imagine my man. It would be my job to please him. And one of my favorite things to do is please man, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, that works out in my favor, too. And his. And I don't cheat. What? You know, I'm, 
I'm a good catch. Why do you only want to see me after your wife goes to bed? Why do you say I'm discreet? You have to be discreet. I don't have to be nothing. You can just block me. I will find love. I've watched lots of videos of transgender women that have beautiful straight husbands. And I'll get mine because all good people get what they deserve. You get what you put out in the world. Stop judging. Stop hating. Wear a mask. It's not for you. Well, I mean, it is, but it's really, it's like saying, I don't have to wear a mask. It's not, it's my right. Well, you know what? When you send your children to school, they may not have any symptoms like people say. And actually, we found out that's not even true. But you're basically sending them to school, letting them come home and kill people. Even if they never knew they had it, ever, because they never even showed a symptom. They may give it to someone that dies. And if these people that say this whole thing was a, a conspiracy theory, because Trump loves conspiracy theory. You know, that's what started Trump and President Obama's whole feud against each other. Trump started a conspiracy theory that uh, President Obama wasn't from the United States and made him prove he was with his birth certificate. How humiliating. I said, listen, loser, you don't need to see my birth certificate. As a matter of fact, I'm the president of the United States. Suck my dick. But he did it. And you know why? Because he's a classy man. He's smart. He is normal. He was young. He was confident. He treated Michelle with pure respect. The day that Trump took inauguration and he walked out holding his wife's hand right behind him was Melania and Trump not even touching each other. Not even touch it was so weird. That day, it just seems like yesterday. It just seems like yesterday. That day, the White House went from a home to a business. And I am so grateful in less than 54 days, we're finally going to have people with a brain and a heart and empathy and, and you know, Biden is old. Biden really is. I'm going to be honest. I feel like he may be the first president to pass away in the White House. But he's dedicated his whole life to this country. It's fine. Because then we got Miss Karras. Sorry, Hillary. I don't think you were the first woman. I, I, well, we know you weren't, you weren't the first woman. But I don't think you were right to be the first woman. I do think that you have lots of secrets. But that's not nor here or there. You still have empathy. You still would have done a better job than Trump. But that wasn't God's will. God wanted to put somebody in that office to make people realize, oh my God, I need to vote. My voice does count. And doggone it, that vote was close. And even Trump's still saying he won. Well, buddy, you didn't. And you're leaving. And, and hopefully they find out that all your big old buildings are just drug money buildings. Hopefully they find out you've never paid taxes. If Abby Lee Miller on Dance Moms has to go to prison for a year for lying about a little bit of money, oh, you can't pardon yourself for something you did before you became president. You can't pardon yourself for something you've done after you become president. Donald. I'm not going to continue to sit and put you down. I'm going to pray for you. Yeah, transgender people can pray. I, God loves me. He loves you. He made you. Please know, transitioning is the scariest thing you'll ever do. And you will go through some awkward stages in the beginning where you're scared to leave the house. You're not going to, be, you're not going to know what to wear. You're, you're going to feel like a girl like you always have, but you're still going to look like a boy. And at some point, you're going to be like a in-between. I still am only nine months, and I feel like I'm perfectly happy. There was a death here in Indianapolis not too long ago. A little girl, well, she wasn't a little girl. She was a grown woman. But there was a transgender uh, black woman that left her job at Long John's, Long John Silver's in the ghetto. 
Who would want to do that? Who'd want to work at the most greasiest place ever in the ghetto, walking and horrible neighborhood? But she was trying to live a regular life and pay her taxes. Trump doesn't even do that. And you took the transgenders, Trump, out of the military. But when it was time for you to go to the military, you hid. They can't take a bullet from us, for us. But you were too pussy to do it yourself. You're a horrible person, Trump. Horrible. And I hope you find peace and learn to love yourself before you die. Or heaven help you. Or hell help you or whatever. You remember when you said, or maybe he's looking up. He's looking down us or maybe he's looking up. Talking about Bo Biden's, or I'm sorry, not Bo. Um, Joe Biden's son that passed away. Um, no, that was Bo, Bo Biden that passed. Called him a loser. You called all of our fallen heroes losers. You've, you've made being racist okay again. You have spread hate as fast in this country as you have COVID. You're killing everybody and you don't care. You won't give a stimulus. And you're talking about bombing uh, Iran before you leave office just so when, yes, sir, it will be Biden and Harris administration. Just so when they get in there, they're getting into a nightmare. You're a terrible person, and I pray for you. Everybody else, listen to me. I promise you, I'm 40 years old. I look younger than I have in years. I'm happier than I've ever been. I'm more honest with myself. I don't care what other people think anymore. I finally live my life. Please understand. You need to transition if you're transgender. It's the only way. And I promise. It's not about whether you're going to pass or be pretty. Because I'm going to be honest with you. If you're a good looking man, you're probably going to, or yeah. If you're a good looking man, you're probably going to be a pretty woman. And unfortunately, you know, if you're not attractive, you're not going to all of a sudden become attractive. It doesn't matter. Uh, when I had real short hair still, I said, I look like a lesbian. I look like a lesbian. And then I thought, but a lesbian's a woman. <laughs> Yesterday I was at Kroger picking up my uh, patches, my estradol patches. And some guy bumped me and he said, oh, excuse me, sweetie. Well, he definitely thought I was a woman. But of course I've got these and I haven't even had surgery. In nine months, yeah. In nine months, I have totally... Oh my goodness. I could not be happier. But anyway, back to the transgender girl in Indianapolis that was killed. I sent her a post and said, I'm so glad you got to transition before they killed you. I'm so glad you got to live a little bit of yourself. Because you know, just the nine months that I've been transitioning, I would give up the whole 40 years I lived in the wrong body to live that nine months. But every 29 hours, a transgender person is killed. Check it. Research it. Every 29 hours. So I made another video. You can look down in my videos. That said, I will take the bullet for all of them. And I put my real phone number on there. Come kill me. Because I will die a happy woman. And that's all I've ever wanted. All I ever wanted was to be a woman. And that being said, I just want to finish this off by saying... You know, there were some words in the song Fancy. I was going to be a lady someday, though I didn't know when or how. That has always stuck with me. Those words meant so much to me. Well, little did I know, just here recently I found out the song Fancy by Reba McIntyre is written about a transgender person. So yeah, check that out too. Anyway, guys, I will continue making videos. I will continue showing you my progress and staying sober and... and you know, uh, I put one video on of where I was getting my laser hair removal on my face. And I have another appointment next week, so we'll probably do that. Um, I just want you to know, it is scary. First of all, the hardest person it is for a transgender person to come out to is themselves, not you. The hardest person. But you know what's so funny is everybody wants to make it about them. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing. You should support them. And parents, if your kid, by the age of, you know, if he's four or three and he says that, okay, I see, just making sure. Give him some time. 
But oh my goodness, if he's six, seven and still saying it, he's transgender. You don't have to put him on all the hormones. Just put him on testosterone blocker. So the boy, the, you know, the boy stuff doesn't happen to him. So when he is 14, 15, old enough to make that decision, you guys need to let him start transitioning. Or her. I'm sorry. It's totally, I said that wrong. It's totally a she. It's always been a she. I know I read something on Facebook the other day. It said, my son has so many problems. He thinks he's transgender. And then it said, well, truth be told, your son is actually a very brave woman. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to close. I love all of you. Right now, I'm only at 500 and something. But please like this video and share. Um, subscribe to my channel. I will always make videos. I will always share with you. I'm, I've, it'll be ups and downs. I promise that. And watch some of my other videos. There's some hilarious TikToks. I'm going to be honest. I was drinking for a while in the beginning of my transition. So there's a lot of intoxicated videos. And they're pretty good. <laughs> but have fun on my channel. Because that's what it's all about. It's to educate you, to encourage you, to let you know it's scary, but good Lord, it's worth it. And you, you will tell yourself I'm too old. You'll tell yourself I'm going to be ugly. You'll tell yourself no one will love me. It's none of it's true. Because I promise the greatest love of all, like Whitney said, unfortunately, she never found it. But the greatest love of all, like Whitney said, is when you love yourself. You won't care what other people think of you. And I promise you're not going to be ugly. You're not. And you're not too old. I'm 40 years old. I started at 39. And on, I, on my, I uh, just turned 40 last month. So on my 40th birthday, I was, I already was complete. On my 40th birthday, I got a call from my doctor and said my levels are already completely biologically female. That's amazing. Because my goal was to in, in my 40th year, to be a woman. I did it. And you can too. I love all of you. Please like, subscribe. Talk to you later.